What is up, YouTube? We're back with another action figure review. This time we're going to review the Gangsters Inc. Patrick O'Brien figure made by Mesco. This figure is huge, man. The detail on it is really cool. I can't even get the whole package in the screen because it's massive. I mean, a lot of plastic. These are like the 10 inch, 10 inch scale figures. And just to show you real quick a comparison of package size, I'll put it beside a Marvel Legends package. Check it out. I can't even get the whole package of this in the screen, but that's how big it is. All right, before we open this guy up, I wanted to show you the packaging. So here's the front. If you can see it, I have to turn it down a little bit. That's how it looks. Giant plastic bubble or blister pack. This on the side has a little file card, little thing that comes inside of it. Here's from the other side. You can see it comes with all sorts of accessories. Um, we'll, we'll get in further detail when we take it out of the package. But the package is nice, man. It makes me kind of not want to open it. And here's the back of the packaging. You can get all that in the screen. It does have a little read up about them. And it shows the other characters. Let me see if I can adjust the light a little bit. You can pause it if you want to read that. Uh, but it does have the other characters available. That's a little better. Got Frankie. Then you have the Giovanni. So yeah, if you want to read the bio, go ahead and pause it. And then you can check that out and read it a little bit. I believe these figures came out in the year 2003. The detail on it, man, is just really, really unbelievable. So I can't wait to open this bad boy up. And I am going to try to do reviews of all the other ones as I get them. But this is the only one I have for now. This is the first one I wanted. So um, stay tuned. I'm going to open this guy up and then we're going to jump into the review. All right, guys, so here we have him out of the package. This figure is massive, about 10 inches in scale. The detail is just crazy on this figure, man. And we'll definitely check all that stuff out. But before we look at the figure itself, let's check out some of the accessories it came with. First, he came with this little mug shot or fingerprint card. Got his little bio and his age and everything like that. He's 40 years old. You can pause it if you can see it and kind of read that if you want. So that's cool. He came with another hat as well, and the one that he has already on his head, and they're just interchangeable. Got little holes and tears in it. Yeah, the detail, they really paid great attention to that. He has his little hand pistol, little gun, tape on the handle. Real gangster, huh? He has an ice pick. And all these accessories do fit in the hands really pretty snug as well. They're not all loose and wobbly, so that's cool. And he comes with some brass knuckles that just clip right over the, the knuckle area of the hand. He also has this pipe that was already in his hand. Actually, it looks like a real pipe. I mean, it's plastic, real hard plastic, but it's really well detailed. All right, and here's the other hat, like a Kango that comes on and both of the hats do fit on snugly. All right, so let's set that aside and let's just jump into the figure itself. The detail on this thing is crazy. I mean, if you look inside the hand even, if you can see that it has dirt and grime in the hand. It's like painted dirt and everything. He has a tattoo on the inner form, love mom. Other form inside, he has like all the veins. Then he has a tattoo on the back of the arm. Blood stains all over. Even the clothing has like a lot of you know, stains, blood, tears, and rips all through it. The jeans have dirt stains on them. Just real good detail in this figure. But it's Mesco, so I mean, what do you expect? They always pay close attention to detail. Also has a four leaf clover tattoo in the back of the neck. And if you look at the face, if you can see that fairly well, it's got all the scars and blood coming out the side of the face and he's all banged up. That's, that's pretty dope. As far as articulation, like I said, it's a massive figure, so it's not gonna have like a lot of articulation like, like a legend would, but for this figure, it's pretty good. The head does move side to side, you know. The arms move all the way around, 360. That's on both arms. 
it does swivel at the elbow and there's no wrist or hand joint. Has some waist articulation, a little bit, you know, not too much, no ab crunch or anything like that. And there's absolutely no leg articulation, no knee, no ankle, toe pivot, pretty straight leg, you know. But for this type of figure, like I say, you don't really need that. This is how the back of the figure looks. So yeah, there you go. Uh, let me give you a quick size comparison, maybe to like a legend or something like that. He does tower over him fairly well. We'll put him beside like maybe Winter Soldier. And look at that. Yeah, huge. So not necessarily going to be able to work with all of your legends and stuff like that. But maybe if you angle it right and, you know, put him in the background of a shot or something like that, I think you can pull it off. You know what I mean? So anyway, there it is. I definitely give it two thumbs up and recommend getting this if you want some cool figures to add to your collection. If you like that gangster type stuff or anything like that or Mezco, I definitely recommend it. I am going to try to get the other characters in the line now after seeing this one. So hopefully this in, this uh, review helped you guys out and helped you with your debate about possibly getting it. Keep collecting. Always spread that love. And remember, it's always showtime in my world. Peace.